This presentation about physical design looks at the multi-valued attribute. This presentation is the last in a set about physical design. At this point, you should be able to implement the relationships listed below in a relational database. However, the steps for actually building the tables will be shown in other presentations that follow this database fundamentals series. The employee entity shown here has a multi-valued attribute. Which one is it? Imp phone. A multi-valued attribute can have more than one value for a single entity instance. In our example here, that means that each employee could have more than one phone number that we need to keep track of in the database. So our employee entity with the multi-valued attribute is shown on the left. The physical design for the data model shows how that is transformed. You would move the multi-valued attribute out and make it a separate entity. It's sometimes referred to as a child in its relationship to its parent entity. The primary key for the uh, phone number entity is going to have two fields in it. Remember a primary key can have more than one field or one attribute making up that primary key. If you have more than one field it's often referred to as a concatenated primary key. So we have a parent entity called employee and a child entity that takes part makes part of the primary key the foreign key it has from its parent entity. So the example shows how you go from a logical entity with a multi-valued attribute to the physical design where the multi-valued attribute becomes a separate entity and to the tables in the database. So we have employees table and phone numbers table. We have Daryl Jackson as an example with an employee ID of 5014. That employee ID will show up as many times as Daryl has phones that we want to keep track of the numbers for. So he has a cell phone number and he has a home phone number. So in this presentation we've seen how to implement a multi-valued attribute going from a logical data model to the physical data model to the actual tables in the database. You've seen the concept of a parent and child entity and an example of a concatenated primary key.